if it's Sunday afternoon, then that can only mean one thing, and that is it's time for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Let's dive in. Yes, hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And as I may have mentioned just then, uh, we're back with another episode of Show Us Your Cat. In this week's episode, we've got some very special boats that we're gonna be looking at. And I think, you know, I could keep you hanging to wait and see what it is that we've got, but instead, let's just get involved straight away. We're starting off by heading back to Ontario, Canada, to Lake Huron, where we're going back to see Steve. Uh, you may remember from episode 38, Steve with his Hobie 16. Now, after we featured Steve before, he sent me these pictures, which are perfect for how do you get yours there? So this is how Steve gets his there by paddling it down this swampy looking river into Lake Huron from his house. Thanks very much, Steve, for sending those pictures there. Next, we're heading back to Slovenia, to Porto Rose, uh, where we're going back to see Janko, Julia Kokosi, uh, who we saw in episode 20 with his Hobie 16. This time we're seeing Janko with his 2008 FX1. Janko is regularly sailing with Igor, or Igor, who is his crew. And these guys have nothing short of a lovely time on that FX1. They're constantly getting good winds in that area of the Adriatic Sea, as we can see here. So there's a few features that Yanko has added to his FX1. The first feature is he's added sport wings to the boat. And seeing as Yanko is mostly sailing two up on that boat, it must go upwind like a puppy lapping milk. Uh, that is one seriously loaded up FX1 on the upwind point of sail. The next feature that Yanko has added is a screecher furling spinnaker. This is when, for when he is sailing single-handed just to make it a bit easier getting the spinnaker in and out so the spinnaker is left constantly furled until he's using it when, of course, he unfurls it but he doesn't have to pull it back into the chute or anything like that. The spinnaker does look here a little bit smaller and flatter than the regular spinnaker, which he uses when he is sailing two up. This next feature may be of interest to many of you. This is a self-made writing pole system where he's attached a windsurfing mast section to the dolphin striker and then using a system of ropes and pulleys, when he capsizes single-handed, he can pull that pole out, move to the end of the pole, which gives him enough leverage to bring the boat back upright. Nice design there. So nice, in fact, I think I might make one myself to see how it works. And Yanko has had made a smaller mainsail because the winds that they get up in the northern Adriatic is constantly above a force five. He's got a smaller mainsail made for it just so that he can use the boat with more confidence in that strong wind. But the main feature of Yanko's FX1 and his sailing is that him and Igor just have an absolutely lovely time out on the water. You may have noticed Yanko's uh, fantastic looking helmet. This is what we used to call a gaff vader, which is a helmet which has got a built in visor. If you want to get hold of one of those, you can just hit the link in the description below. And I've put one in my Amazon store for you so you don't have to go searching. Nice helmet. And here we can see that Yanko is not afraid of sending it one bit so much so that he occasionally is known to stick the nose in 
If you want to see more of Yanko in action, just head to the description below where there's some videos of Yanko absolutely sending it to the limit and beyond. So thanks very much, Yanko, for sending in those great pictures of your great looking FX1. Next, we're heading back to High Point, North Carolina, USA, where we're going back to see Tom, who you may remember from episode 35 with the Astus Trimaran. Here's Tom on his Hobie Trifoiler. The Hobie Trifoiler was the first production foiling boat ever made back in 1994. Uh, 175 of these boats have been made in total and it was at the time by far the fastest production boat in the world. It gets foiling in just eight knots of wind and Tom has actually got his trifoiler up to, you're not going to believe this, 40.2 knots. It's 22 feet long, 19 feet wide, and with a total sail area of 20 square meters. You sheet the sail with a single line coming from between your legs. You steer the boat using your feet. And all you have to do is sit back and go very fast. It's got these sensors coming off the front of the side floats which keep it riding at the correct height. And here we can see Tom in action, just getting her up on the foils there. What a great ride that is. So thanks very much, Tom, for sending us those pictures and that video of your trifoiler. How fast? That is quick. Uh, probably the quickest boat that we're ever going to feature. If you've got a boat that's quicker than that with a sail on it, then we need to know. Uh, if you would like your boat, whether it's quicker or not, so I think the majority will be in the not category, then please just send me uh, photos or video. Just send me details about your boat. Say where it is that you sail, perhaps who it is that you go sailing with, any other information that might be interesting, perhaps what year your boat is, how long you've had it, that kind of thing. Uh, with some pictures, that would be very nice indeed. I said this last week, I said this last week, as I have said previous weeks, I probably mentioned this last week. Like last week, I said this last week. I believe I might have said this last week. I might have said this last week. I said it last week. I think I've said this most weeks. Don't worry, you will be featured in the upcoming weeks that I'm putting the boats onto these videos in order of which they came in. There we are. Yes, I had. That's right, you heard it here. That's right, it's coming up soon. That's right, there we are. There you go. Indeed, we've got the speed stick going on, which is nice. So if you are allowed to go sailing at the moment and you are going out, then do take a GPS with you if you can and uh, let me know how fast you went. Again, all the details are in the description below of what you need to send in to get on the speed stick. But um, it's a great way of um, just keeping a record of your highest speed as much as anything else and see where you rank in the global Joyrider community on the speed stick. Also, if you're buying or selling a boat, then get in touch and I'll make a short video letting the Global Joyrider community know what it is that either you're looking for or what it is that you're selling. Um, other than that, I have been, if you hadn't seen, I've been making some videos about the beaches here on Lefkas Island. Um, in fact, I've just finished filming one here on the West Coast. Look at this place. Looks nice but it's not the nicest one. So just check that out. Um, there's some videos there to keep you entertained, perhaps bring a bit of sunshine into your living room um, if you're not allowed out or if you are. Um, so thanks to, very much to everybody who's been supporting the channel in whichever way you have been supporting the channel. Don't forget to like this video uh, by giving it the thumbs up 
yeah thanks um so there we are yeah so thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel on patreon um if you've visited the totaljoyrider.com online store and bought a t-shirt or a hoodie or a hat or a flag or some stickers then thank you very much um if you haven't done that but you want to just head over there um i'll have to find out what we're looking at at the shipping at the moment i think there will be some delays as you would expect um but thanks very much thanks for watching we'll be back next week with more show us your cat on joyrider tv uh yeah and just keep the pictures coming in of your boats um you know go through the file on your hard drive for all of your old pictures of your boat send them in so we'll see you next week with some more